Good morning. <laughs> We're going to try again, see if yes. we can get one that's not pixelated, preferably. Right. Exactly. No promises, though. And I don't know what the deal is, because our Wi-Fi is fine, our internet yes. connection is fine, the computer's plugged in. So if, if you have any, any solutions as to what would cause a video to pixelate, we're happy to hear it. Right. But so we're just going to start over from the beginning. Right. So my workout was good. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, today I did chest, uh, chest and buys. It was good. Uh, zoomed a little bit. That was nice though. Got, got everything done. Um, yeah, felt good. Oh, and I you know what else I did. I didn't mention the first time. The 10 minute cardio blitz. I did that today as well. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah. So. I did chest today. Um, my shoulder is a little bit better than it, it was. It's certainly not 100%, but it's headed in the right direction. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, what are you having for breakfast? Breakfast, I'm having my usual oatmeal with one change. And that is that I, instead of having the blueberries this morning, I decided I wanted raisins. Yeah, I had raisins yesterday and they were yeah. really good. Yes. I really enjoyed them. Um, this morning before we left for the gym, we had some Brazil nuts and I had some figs. And so in addition to the fact that I did not put my oatmeal on, I'm now like, eh, I don't know what to eat for breakfast. Right. So I'm not feeling very hungry. I may just not eat for right now. I have some tea that I put turmeric and um, cinnamon in. Yeah, and I, had, I had cinnamon to my tea, to we'll my uh, turmeric this morning as I well. Know. Seems good. Yeah, I haven't tried it because mine's fluffy. It's certainly it's good for the olfactory. Yeah. Because every time I bring it up, I smell the cinnamon. I don't necessarily taste it, but I smell it. So well, that's good. Yeah. It's so, good. yeah, we'll try that. Speaking but, of which, I didn't put cinnamon in my oatmeal this morning. No, you should do that. So we wanted to talk to you guys, and we started before we started pixelating before, telling you about um, the different kinds of nuts that we – why we eat them and which which ones we avoid in, in high – in excess right, and right. that kind of thing. So I think – good. I was say, we should start with the Brazil nuts again because that, that I think, is the – Real reason kind of why crux. we just have to talk yeah. about this today. So we want to talk about Brazil nuts. We have a small package, which you can't really see because it's shiny. Um, if it's not on the resource page of the website, rnrjourney.com, we will certainly add them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, but but I'll double check. Um, they're a pretty large a type of nut. Let me see if we can show it to you. You can see that. Oh, maybe I should put it in the screen somewhere. <laughs> so they have a very earthy flavor, so um, a different kind of taste than most nuts. Right. But the reason that we choose to eat this, and we eat, we eat four Brazil nuts a month, and we usually try to do it on the first of the month, but this month we forgot on the first, and Russ said yesterday, did we eat our Brazil nuts? Yes. I'm like, oh, I think we forgot, yeah. which is why we were doing it this morning. But there's a study that has shown that just four Brazil nuts every 30 days can lower your cholesterol levels by as much as 20 points. Mm -hmm. And so because Russ and I both had high cholesterol when we were eating the standard American diet, we decided that adding four Brazil nuts to our diet a month was a reasonable thing to do. Right. Um, now, one of the challenges with Brazil nuts, this is a case where more is not better. No. Um, they are high in selenium, which is good for you in small amounts, but toxic in very large amounts. Right. So Brazil nuts are not something that you should eat every single day. Right. I would definitely say don't do that. If you know the study said four a month and that the, the results – effects of lowering your cholesterol lasted for 30 days. They didn't test beyond 30 days. So Dr. Greger, which is where I read the study, and I'll, I'll post the article on the r, r Journey page so that you guys can read it yourselves, um, mm -hmm. says that eating four a month is perfectly reasonable and that it's not – so usually when you, when you do look at studies, you want them to do multiple before you say, okay, we're going to take that as right. fact. But in this case – there's no harm in eating four Brazil nuts a month, right. and there's possible, likely, probable benefit. Right. So why not eat four Brazil nuts a month? Right, exactly. So that's what we do. We choose to eat four Brazil nuts a month. Um, that's, Very different than taking a medication that has definite side effects and right. may help you. Right. <laughs> it's like, so yeah. I would highly recommend that you eat four Brazil nuts and a month. And you can buy such a small bag because you only have it four a month. It's going to last a long time. Exactly. I mean, we've had that bag a fairly long time now. Yeah, I don't. I can't even tell you. I think we bought it back in the summer. Right, and then uh, we mentioned the other nuts that we tend to. Uh, Not yet. Work We're getting on. there. Okay. Um, the net, the other nut that's supposed to be really, really good for you is walnuts. Right. And the the benefit of walnuts, I can't really speak to, and that's because I'm allergic to them. Not really badly enough that it makes my throat itch and my my ears itch, so right. I do stay away from them. 
it makes me sad when people put walnuts in brownies and, and cookies because mm -hmm. not that I eat brownies and cookies very often, but when I want to, I don't want them to have nuts in them. Right. I don't so want like, you ruined the perfect cookie. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if you are not allergic to walnuts, it's a, it's, they are a wonderful choice yeah. to have in the house and to add to your food and, and to, uh, to enjoy. So I would definitely say if, you're, if you don't have an allergic reaction to walnuts, add them to your diet as right. well. Right. And I don't know, I haven't read any studies that say too much walnuts are a problem, like there's you know too much selenium in Brazil nuts. And what we just read uh, uh, recently was they've not shown we're eating even nuts every day, generally speaking. This again is if you don't already have you know heart disease and all other stuff. Um, doesn't seem to be a problem. No, it's it a doesn't. perfectly good food to eat every day. Just not the uh, Brazil nuts. Not Brazil nuts. So the other kind of nut we have here, um, we have cashews. Cashews can be very expensive. This container is a two pound container. We paid $20 for it. So I'm looking for another option to get them um, not so expensive because in whole food plant-based eating, a lot of recipes that call that would usually call for cheese, things like lasagna and right. that kind of thing, they make a cashew type cheese or they will grind up cashews and put them directly on because the amount of fat in cashews gives you the mouth feel like that cheese. people expect from cheese. So it, 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 they are called for in a lot of recipes, but they can be very expensive. So that's something to consider. Um, we do have them in the house, we do eat them, we do enjoy them, but they are um, a pricey option. Right. Um, the other thing you guys have seen us eat, and I don't have the package, um, we might have a package yeah, yeah. actually, is, um, is almonds. We really enjoy almonds. Now, one of the drawbacks of almonds is they do have this, you can kind of see the tiny little brown skin on them. There's the This package. is the package that we buy. So you can see we buy a lot of almonds at a time. So um, the little skin can get flaky and it can make you cough. So we try to remember to not eat them right before we're going to go on to talk to you guys because they make us cough. But almonds are, are, are really good as well. The other thing, other kind of nut we typically have in the house we don't right now, we're out of is peanuts. Mm -hmm. Now, be aware that all of the nuts that we eat are raw, they're unsalted, um, they haven't been roasted. Because right. when, when, roast, when nuts are roasted, they usually add oil to them, mm -hmm. and that defeats the purpose of trying to eat something healthy if you're eating something that's roasted. Obviously, honey roasted peanuts are not the best <laughs> option. Yes, that's putting everything you can bad into it so you can eat it. Right. So the question we get a lot of times about nuts, well, aren't they really high in fat? Do I, you know, should I be? Yes, they are. They're, it's a, you know, it's good fat. It's whole plant fat, which is good. Awesome. But there is a caveat to that. One, you're not going to want to sit down and eat two pounds of nuts. Well, and if you do, you should not. Yeah, don't do not do that. That's not a good option. Right. A handful of them as a snack with some dried fruit, right. that's going to be fine for you. Right. But don't sit down and eat pounds and pounds of walnuts no. or almonds or any other or a kind bag of, of pistachios or whatever it is. That's not going to be a good option for right. you because of the fat content. Oh, Laura's had a comment. Let me see. The fungus in peanuts is supposed to be toxic. I have not heard anything no, about fungus in peanuts. I can, uh, I can look into that. Or if you have an article, feel free to post it, Laura. I'd love to be able to read that. Right. Um, the only thing that we saw, and I forget which uh, documentary it was, um, talked about peanuts as a very good source a very good nut to eat. I can't remember why. Yeah. But we got some because of it. Yeah. So it was enough to convince us to get it, but I guess not enough to remember. For us to, to remember to, for the, to at this moment. Plant it in our brain. But yeah. I will. I will. I will figure it out. But in the other caveat, so yes, well, nuts are very high in fat, so don't eat gobs and gobs of them every right. day because that's going to be a problem for you. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is, if you are working to reverse heart disease, diabetes, right. obesity, or if you're just trying to lose weight in general. You're going to want to avoid um, a lot of nuts because of the high fat in them. Right. As we mentioned, Dr. Esselstyn, Esselstyn yeah. um, he's the guy that does the um, very severe heart disease reversal cases. And he absolutely says no nuts, no seeds right. because of the amount of uh, fat content in them. Right. Now, for us, we're healthy. We're at our ideal weight. So we do eat you know, nuts and seeds. You see us every morning. We eat a lot of nuts and seeds. So... That you know something to consider, but if you are trying to lose weight or trying to reverse heart disease or diabetes, I would say then you need to avoid nuts. And when I had our friend over over the weekend, right. and I made um, sweet potato lasagna that calls for um, cashews, cashews, cashews crumbled on the top, and I left them out because he is 
diabetic and working on reversing his diabetes. Right. So I, and it was fine. It's still really, it's, really good. I'm still eating it. Um, I so, it's still and they took, like we said, they took half of it home. So right. they enjoyed it as well. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, Laura. If you do come across anything and I'll, I'll, I'll look too for fungus and peanuts, do please share that with me. Cause I'd be interested in reading it. Exactly. Um, other, any other nuts? Oh, we, we have sunflower seeds, obviously though, that's a seed. We have pumpkin seeds. We um, did we determine that avocados were nuts or berries? What are they? An avocado is a berry. Okay. Which is and so is a watermelon, but yet a strawberry is not. Technically. So do not confuse the two. We'll have to get you in berry jail. I'm just saying. <laughs> so uh, as you guys probably know, avocado is also very high in fat. Um, a good fat, not a problem if your body is healthy and functioning right. well. But if you're if you're working on reversing disease or losing weight then you're going to want to limit the amount of avocado you and take what, what, what did we see? There was a one-third cup of avocado should be how much you should have? Yeah, it's like a quarter of an avocado, avocado or something. It's not, third, something not very like much, like a yeah. small serving of avocado. Right. So we, but, tend, we tend to do half an avocado. We do. When we, eat, when we eat it, we eat half each just because I don't want to have to put it in the fridge and have it turn brown mm -hmm. and deal with that. Um, so... What else do we need to add? I'm, what, I'm not sure what's a complete protein, uh, Laura. I had a restaurant tell me avocado was protein, which was funny once. Right. It's fat. No, but he thought it was like he a replacement was, for meat. Which yeah, was, he thought it was replacement yeah, for meat, which, it, which it's was, not. Uh, it does have some protein in it, yes. but not. it's not like chickpeas. Yes. Not like it, right, which is kind of what you're looking for. Right. Any kind of bean. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so... Anyway, oh, well, she so said Laura's Arvo saying is a, Avo is, is protein. It, it's got, I don't know that it has enough pro protein to offset the amount of fat that's in it. That's my yeah, thoughts on yeah, it. I think that's what she was saying was a complete protein. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Is there anything else you wanted to add about nuts? <sighs> no, I think I'm crazy enough. Okay. Um, so, bottom line, I would say add four Brazil nuts a month to your um, intake. It's it, they're healthy for you and 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 great a great option to eat. And if if you're not working on losing weight or reversing disease, nuts are a really good um, source of right. you know healthy fat of all kinds of fun stuff. And I will post the article from Dr. Greger's site nutrition.org about mm -hmm. Brazil nuts. So if you want to read um, the details of the study that um, I'm referring to, you can do that. So I'll post that on the R&R &R Journey page. Right. And again, I will say to you guys, don't forget to check out our website, which came up on Sunday. There's been, um, what'd you say, a hundred and some people on it already. already uh, yeah. So we're excited about that. So please check out our website, share it with other people who are interested in health and wellness. Right. And if you're getting value out of our videos, please do like and share them for us. Um, that, that would, we really appreciate that. And we love your thumbs up and your hearts. And thanks for sticking around because I know the first time we tried this, it did pixelate. Right. Exactly. So thanks for all of you who came back to uh, watch us talk about nuts today. Mm -hmm. If you have a subject that you're interested in us covering, please let us know. Um, thanks for the thumbs up, Bridge. Yay. Thanks, Those are fun. Um, and yeah, we're happy to cover them. I had someone reach out to me yesterday about um, helping her lose um, 150 pounds. So I'm super excited to see if we're going to get started on that. Right, exactly. she's, she's doing some research and she's going to get back to me. Exactly. So do like and share. Yes. That would be awesome for us. On our, on our Facebook pages and on our YouTube pages. And I don't know, I don't want to say Instagram yet because we're still deciding. I'm trying to figure out Instagram. Yeah, so we, <laughs> may, we may or may not do that. Um, also, if you want to use the exact same products that we are using, they are on our website and they are available through Amazon. On the uh, directly from page. our website, um, they're the same price. Getting them from our website is they are if you buy them directly through Amazon's website. And you don't have to do the research. And you, you don't have just to do the research exactly. So. Um, yeah. So and there's are some um, videos from YouTube on there, so you don't have to search those out if you want to see those. Yep. So yeah, the web the website's up. Do please check it yeah. out. I know some of you've been on it and given me some feedback on it, so I appreciate and, that and a lot. She, you know, we appreciate your input too. If you, you you know like our website, let us know if you. Like to see something that's not on there? Let us know. Help us build it out. Help us make it better for you folks. That's the whole point. Is that's we're the trying whole point. to yes. provide value. So yeah, exactly. All right. Are you ready to eat breakfast? I'm ready to eat breakfast. Okay. And so with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.